I'm writing a book. This should scare you. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's, um, I've been trying to do it off, off and on for a number of years. And the idea for this book is really old. I mean, I, I came up with the idea like years and years and years back. But over that time, things have changed. It's evolved a lot. And the main character has changed significantly for this story. In fact, everything about it has changed significantly. I mean, a whole lot. It's, it's a completely different story now from what it was originally going to be, or the idea of what it was going to be. And there are a few factors that affected why it changed. One, I've gotten older and gotten a little bit more mature. I think. Maybe. Hopefully. But, um... Also, tastes have changed. And I watch stuff like SAO and Disney Star Wars and uh, that's changed my perspective on a lot of things the original character that I had in mind for this story was going to be after I watched it would have been a lot like Kirito you know uh, this guy that can get the badass and can do everything right and after watching that and then seeing Disney Star Wars I realized no that's not the direction I want to go I'd already been changing up a lot of the story by then at that point. But seeing SAO and, and um, Disney Star Wars changed the direction that I was heading significantly. But um, enough about the past. What's the story about right now? It's called Mystic Space. And I'm not trying to take the place of Star Wars. I'm not trying to redo what Lucas did with Star Wars. It, this is my own idea, my own take on things. And I'm not trying to do Star Wars better. I'm not saying, you know, not, not, I'm not writing this because Disney Star Wars sucks, which it does. I'm not writing it for that reason. This is something that's been milling around in my head for almost 50 years that I've been wanting to write and it's been changing and evolving and this is its current form and I think I think it's gestated enough, it's changed enough that it now it's it's ready to come out. And I just need to actually start writing it. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm beginning to do, um, starting uh, in the next couple of, next couple of days, maybe next couple of weeks. Uh, what I need to do is some world building first, because this is something completely new and it's all in my head. I have to write notes. I have to put everything down and flesh everything out, flesh out the world, the characters, the, the, the groups that are in this world, everything and everyone of, of who is who is who, what is what, you know, cross the T's and dot the I's and everything. You know, when Tolkien wrote The Lord of the Rings, he wrote extensive notes on everything. That's where we got the... Um, the Simore Sim I always have a hard time pronouncing that word. Sim I can't pronounce it. Similar Simborian. That's where we got that from. It was his notes on everything. So, I mean, even Herbert, when he was writing Dune, wrote notes on everything. And I'm not going to say that my stuff is going to be as good as that. I, I'd, I'd be I'd be lucky I'd be lucky if it even is um, you know good enough for someone to read but 
Mystic Space is my own idea. I take Star Wars as major inspiration, of course, because I've been a very big fan of Star Wars, and again, I'm not trying to redo Star Wars, I'm not trying to redo what Lucas did, or I'm not trying to one-up Disney with what I'm doing. I'm trying to just do my own thing in a sci-fi setting. But I'm taking things in a very radically different idea. Uh, for one thing, there's going to be elements of H.P. Lovecraft in this. Uh, big inspiration is Event Horizon. If you ever saw the movie, it was very inspired by Lovecraft. In fact, some would say it's almost... You could almost say that it's a part of the 40, 40K universe. But really early in time. You could almost say that because of where the ship went was the warp and that's what that's what changed the ship and caused everything to happen but this is not a 40k story but you could say it was it is somewhat inspired by that it's 40k is in a lot of ways itself also very much inspired by lovecraft um, and so there's so some elements of that in this as well and I'm going to be fleshing all of that out in all the notes and things I'm going to be writing. And I'm going to be doing little short stories as well uh, to flesh out maybe some ideas. Some of these short stories may end up being in the being in the novel, or right, be, be chapters in the novel possibly, or or will inspire some ideas for the chapters in the story. The main character is a girl named Lyra. And the one thing I want to do with this story, the one thing I do want to do in answer to Disney Star Wars is a depiction of a female character as they are supposed to be. Not this girl boss who can do no wrong, who can do everything and has power handed to her on a silver platter. No, Lyra has to work for what she gains. She has to go through hell. She has to struggle to earn everything that she everything that she earns. She's going to go through the hero's journey. And later, she's going to become a badass. But she's gone through some hardship to get there. And that's what this story is going to show. It's, she's going to be a strong female character the way they're meant to be depicted. Not these strong female characters going, I don't need no man. No, not that way. Strong female characters, the way they're supposed to be. And all the characters are gonna be that way. Whether those characters are, are um, straight or not, I may even include some that aren't. And they're gonna be done properly. Um, none of this catering crap. That's the one thing that that's the one thing I'm doing in answer to what Disney has done and what a lot of other entertainment uh, companies have done is tell these stories properly, show these characters properly, follow the hero's journey, make her a badass character. But she had to earn being a badass. It wasn't given to her on a silver platter. Lyra is a mystic. Mystics are magic users. They use what they call the weave, which is permeates all of reality. And the mystics are not like the Jedi Order. They're not the keepers of the peace for the galaxy they travel around and simply help people they will help you know cure diseases they will help them help people in settlements where the la land is not fertile um, they might fight occasionally when they have to but they generally are there to help the people they're not there to 
enforce some government's laws. They're not there to uh, act as a police force like they do in Star, like the Jedi do in Star Wars. And they're not beholden to any government. They are their own order, their own thing, and they just simply go around helping people. But in Lyra's time, the order has been gone for nearly 20 years. No one knows what happened. The mystics have been missing for a long time. And so Lyra's journey is to find out where they are, what has happened, and also to learn about herself, who she is and what she is and her journey and she's been living with her grandfather who she knows is not her biological grandfather but someone who's raised her since she was very young and he's going to be quite the interesting character and I hope that people really like him I'm not going to give too many story ideas away but there's going to be a lot of politics not not that kind of politics um galactic politics um a lot of drama in this the, the politics of the galaxy is going to be quite complicated and there's a cold war sort of situation that's been going on for some time that's going to be in the mix of this what i will do what I will do is when I am writing these short stories or, or when I even start writing the chapters, I'll release them as audio recordings here on the channel. I'll do audio recordings of them. Uh, I don't know how soon I will have anything like that. Uh, I'm not going to do anything fancy like special effects and, and anything like that and AI voices for the different characters. I'll just do a recording and maybe some music in the background like I'm doing right now. And um, let's see, you know, how people respond. Do you like it or not? Probably start with some short stories first and then move on to the chapters of the story. I don't know how many chapters I'm going to have in this. I know a direction that I want to go, so I'm going to have to write an outline for the story and uh, of the progression of of um, the way things will flow in this story and how it will end. I am planning on this being a trilogy, so there will be three books in the series, possibly another trilogy after that. But uh, it's, this is the beginning of a journey for me that I have been wanting to do for some time. And I think this is the year to finally get it done. Finally start on it. So I'll still be doing the video game videos. Still be doing the VR stuff. Still be doing the Professor but I will but in the meantime I'll be doing also other stuff like writing and work writing out my notes. I won't do audio recordings of my notes, but the short stories I probably will and the chapters of Mystic Space I definitely will. I've had some other ideas that I've been wanting to also write. I'm I probably won't write that at the same time. I mean, writing two books at the same time is... I mean, not a lot of authors can do that. Most don't. So, um, I'll be focusing on one. Um, when it's done... I don't think I will uh, take it to any publishers. I will probably release it myself. Uh, I have an account with Amazon to release it as a Kindle book. You can do that. They still have that self-publishing uh, feature. And, and the Amazon still has that self-publishing site. So I can publish my own book that way. And, um... Now, I will look into other methods of self-publishing. Maybe getting 
uh, print copies made. I know there, I think there are some uh, companies out there that will print books on demand as they're ordered. So I could possibly go that route. It depends on what I'd be able to do because uh, I do have limited funds um, to do anything. If if I think I've got enough support for it, if I get enough people interested in it, I could possibly do a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter for it. Um, I mean, put your put your comments down below what you think I should probably do. Well, I know I'm not the I'm not the biggest channel out there, and I've not been the most consistent. Which, again. Writing a book and I'm not the most consistent content creator. That should scare you. But, uh, yeah, I, I, it's time. And it's definitely time to do this. Anyway, put your comments below. Any suggestions, comments, um, recommendations, or anything. Uh... I know I didn't give the best description of what this story is about, but uh, I don't want to give away too much stuff of what the plot is. I, I got it all up here, and I just have to write all this stuff down and get the notes and outline made and everything, and then I'll have a much clearer picture of what that story is going to be. But uh, until then, until I get the first short story out um, it will be some time probably a few weeks maybe a month or two before I post anything related to this and the story is mystic space so keep an eye out for that and um, I know there are some sites that I can go to where I can register for an ISBN number for it so I will do that at some point but um, yeah this is happening I am going to write a book. Holy shit. I've been Mike DeZorch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.